I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Uh, very briefly from me, because we're about to go into a live section, uh, I was actually intending to do gameplay, and then this live section got ahead of me, or got away from me I should say, and things started happening left, right and centre, so what I've decided to do is forego the gameplay for today. I have edited half of tom well, the next episode of The Road to Glory, and that does contain gameplay, I promise, and of course we are going to try out the, the Liverpool team as well as maybe the other team as well, but but um, we'll talk about that in the next episode. But right now, we're going to go live. So into the live section we go. And you'll see that, um, as mentioned earlier, Danilo is done. You knew about it anyway, because I'm sure you've seen the review. And of course, we do have a 95 Vinicius now as well. I've got a couple of games left on Mendy. Uh, I knocked off a few yesterday. Uh, it's just a case of getting the assist with him. The The problem I had was, of course, I was reviewing Danilo, right? So the ball is over the other side of the pitch. Getting a clip or, you know, using Danilo to find out if he's actually any good and then trying to get the ball over to Mendy in order to get him the assist is not easy. So I either had to focus on doing the review or getting uh, Mendy's assists. I actually reviewed Vinicius without even knowing that I was reviewing him because he was upgraded... Uh, before, well, he's, he's upgraded just before I started. I did uh, Danilo put him into the team, and I'm looking back at the footage, and he was upgraded, but I didn't even realize because why would you? Same dynamic image, and you, the only real difference you can see there is the fact that he's gone from a two to a five, and I'm not looking for it, right? So yeah, um, not far off on Mendy. Just need two or three more wins with assists. I will get that done over the the next maybe 24 hours, and then we can put the 89 into an SBC, and we'll have the 93. And then we are nearly done. Uh, there are rumours... Uh, I'm filming this uh, almost... Well, I wouldn't say almost 24 hours, but maybe 18 hours in advance. So it's actually before 6 o'clock yesterday, if that makes sense, for you guys. So there are rumours of certain cards, Belotti and, and a few others coming out as well. If that is the case then there is every reason to believe that uh, I will be getting that card, putting him in there instead of Firmino, and then I'll look to replace Fabinho with someone. Um, I am hoping, though, that from the packs that we have available to us today, that we can pack someone useful for both teams. So the Premier League team of the season guaranteed. I am going to complete it, and that is the team I'm going to give up. I am finally giving up my Lozano. Uh, even though he's still a very good card, uh, I don't think he's that expensive. And I can't remember the last time I actually subbed him on because my subs have now outgrown him. So don't think there's any reason. Pope was an objective card. I picked him up purely to throw into SBCs. I was never really planning on using him. I did, uh, not on this account. I did on another account. And he is actually a good keeper. But not really any need for me to keep him because he just doesn't seem to fit anything that I have going on. Packed uh, Anderson from an 82 to an 88 and the rest of it came from various things that you would have seen last week but there is the Premier League guaranteed. Now this one for me is actually less significant than the La Liga team of the season guarantee. Reason for that is because the only players I've won out of the Premier League are Liverpool players so I would love believe it or not a Jordan Henderson Mane, don't really want Trent or Robertson, if Robertson's in it, is he in most consistent? I don't know, um, no he can't be, he must be in team of the season as well, um, what else, I've already got those two so I don't want him, Mane, Van Dijk, Gomez isn't in it, but basically I just want a Liverpool player, Alisson would be brilliant as well, Jordan Henderson, Van Dijk or Alisson would be the, the main three I think I'd want, obviously I'm not going to turn down Mane, that's for sure, and, and Salah's in there as well. So plenty to choose from. Not going to do Jordan Lukaku. Got him on another account. Doesn't really fit into my plans on this account. So there's no point. This one I will complete today as well. I have it nearly done. I'm not too far off on the rating. Got Atsabi out of um, an 82 to 88. Going to give up Ibra. And I know it sounds a little bit stupid. Like you're going to give up a 95 Ibra. I just... Not used him. Not going to use him. I, again, I reviewed him on another account. Unlocked him very early on. Day one, I think. 
Uh, so the review is on the channel if you want to watch it. He's not a bad card. It's just I don't really care. And, and I only completed him just to be able to do this sort of thing with him. So I will need to do a few more upgrades to get that complete or spend the coins. But either way, I will have a La Liga pack. Now, the La Liga one is a little bit more significant to me because it would actually benefit this squad a little bit more if I could pack Rafael Varane, Sergio Ramos, Diego Carlos. Uh, is it Diego Carlos? What's his name? Diego. I can't remember his name. Is it Car? I can't remember. I, I was. I confuse. Diego Carlos is obviously the left back, the icon left back, right? Um. What is that guy's name? The the the, the Brazilian centre back who plays for Sevilla. Um. It is Carlos. Is his first name? It is Diego Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am right. I just get very confused. So Diego Carlos of Sevilla would be a would be a fantastic pickup, but we'll have to wait and see what we get. Uh, first up, though, like I said, we're gonna do the Premier League pack. Let me do this first, just in case there is any sort of chugging, and there will be. Yeah, see, didn't didn't want that to ruin the Premier League pack. I don't want. Anything like a Dharma Traore or anything like that. I mean, okay, if I pick up a Bamiyang or Mares or anything, it's awesome. And I'm not going to turn it down. I'll be very happy with it. But I just want a Liverpool player. No Dean Henderson. No Soyuncu. I want a Liverpool player. Trent would be bad because I've got his red pick. And Robertson would be bad because I already have his team of the season. But even that would be better, in my opinion... Than getting Soyuncu or Dean Henderson. Give me Big Jordan Henderson. Give me Allison. Give me Mane. Give me Salah. Oh, there it is. There it is, baby. There it is. This account knows exactly what we need. It knows what I want. That is fantastic. The Liverpool team is just. Oh, the Liverpool team is better than my normal team, man. It's so good. I need to go and buy team of the season Jordan Henderson and then we are an and Allison and then we're done. Honestly, it, absolutely unreal. The only card that I think would have been better than that Salah is Van Dyke. But pff, I am so happy with that and I can't wait to open the La Liga pack. If I can get a defender out of that La Liga pack, honestly, I think we're done. I genuinely think we could be done. So happy with that, Paul. That is unbelievable. Uh, let me go and have a look to see what that does. I'm going to have to change things around a little bit now. I'm going to have to actually either play someone off chemistry or I'm going to have to go and buy Moments John Barnes because what that unfortunately does is it, a, it forces someone out of the team. Who? I, I'm not sure. Probably Divock Origi. Um, but the other thing, of, of course, that it does is that it, it forces me to have to change the formation so, for example, we'll go into a 4-3-3. We do that. And now we're at the point where what do we do? What player do we sacrifice? Because, I mean, realistically, 4-3-3 is wrong. 4-3-2-1. Can't believe we've just packed Mo Salah. 4-3-2-1 is what we need to go into. Because what I can do now is I can play a centre forward in this position on 7 chem. And I'll be okay with that. I know you're thinking, well, just get rid of Jordan Henderson. And to a certain extent, I do agree with you. But on the other hand, do I actually... Do you know what? I do agree with you. I really do. So let's do that. And we'll move him over there. We don't need to go buy Jordan Henderson now. This team is basically done. If I go into newest and I put Mo Salah in there. So what I would need to do is convert Divock Origi from a cam to a center forward, which I probably don't have. I do have it. That gives me three chemistry, puts him on six. Does it send it forward to strike it down? It doesn't do anything. So Klopp is a La Liga manager, so I need to change him back to... Let me give him a contract because it's saying, hey, we recommend you give him a contract. Now if I give him a Premier League, there we go. That gives Divock Origi one more chem point. And we are... It says six chem. He's actually on seven chem. If I go back in... I don't know how you get him on eight chem. That give him eight chem? No, it's seven chem. Would that give him eight chem? So I don't know how you give players seven chem, but either way, uh, eight chem, sorry. But either way, that is now looking. I know you're probably thinking, well, go and get 
team of the season, Jordan Henderson, replace Yari Lippmanen? No. Uh, go and get Van Dijk and replace Gomez? No. Uh, I don't want to spend money on it, really. I mean, I've managed to accumulate this team from completing SBCs and from being lucky in packs. I've not bought a single... Rush is the exception. I've not bought a single Liverpool player, existing Liverpool player, from that team. So, very happy. I will, though, because I'll have to replace Alisson with the team of the season. I'm waiting still because I know they're going to go back in packs on Friday. So there's no point me going out and buying one now knowing that he's going to be 100k cheaper this time next week. So I'll wait to buy Alisson and I'll wait to buy any other team of the season Liverpool player that I can. I would like to upgrade Gomez to Van Dijk, don't get me wrong. But I don't want to buy a normal version of Van Dijk and I don't want to um, go and buy any other version because it's just too expensive. But that team is now looking pretty sexy. I'm not a huge fan, I won't lie, of Divock Origi playing in that sort of left side role that he will be playing. What I'm going to do is obviously play Wijnaldum as the CDM. Uh, Firmino will be the box to box. And then I'll probably play Yari Lippmann as the cam. Those two are interchangeable. And then, of course, Salah will be on the right. Origi will be on the left. And then Ian Rush will go through the middle. And the, the record on Rush, it is a little bit better, but I've only I only brought him on as a sub once in the games that I played yesterday because I was focusing on doing the reviews and things. So he didn't really get that many games, but he's already scored 27 goals, 16 assists, which is more than what my predecessor had on him. And he's played nearly half the games. And I've not touched squad battles. It's all online, all in rivals. So I'm very happy, very pleased. That Liverpool team is looking sexy now now it's time to go and complete the La Liga team of the season so far and see if we can replace Fabinho in this team put Oblak back in goal honestly Diego Carlos here would be the dream uh, Rafael Varane or Sergio Ramos any one of those three would be the absolute dream I'm actually going to complete Karim Benzema. Did this on my main account yesterday. The reason for that is because the cheapest 92 is like 80k or something. It might even be more than that. Uh, this is going to cost me effectively whatever Isco was. So 19,750 I paid for Isco. That's enough to boost the rating as well as the players that I already had in the club. Uh, luckily, I had a Real Madrid card because if I hadn't, then it would have cost me an awful lot more. And of course, Volum came out of an 82 to 88, as did Danilo Pereira. So job done uh very easy to 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 complete really you just need a couple of high rated cards and then just to dot around those links around him but the reason i want to complete benzema is of course it's going to offset the price for us to get the team of the season benzema from the guaranteed team of the season pack i'm not expecting good luck from the guaranteed la liga and nor do i deserve it having just got salah so uh we're going to interrupt him during his swing because what i'm going to do now put him in the club you're thinking, oh, he's going to go into the main team. Nope, he's not going anywhere other than straight into this bad boy. Because I was a little bit off on this SBC. I've used a lot of cards from it because it's it's just fodder. They're all cards I could buy back for about a 1,000 coins each. I'm not too concerned by it, especially given the fact that we can now pop him in here somewhere. And all I have to worry about, in my opinion at least, because I have a 95 and a 92, all I'm going to have to worry about is is getting that chemistry. And the team I'll be giving up for my La Liga team of the season looks like this. Uh, absolutely no one there I care about. The only sad thing is that the 95 Ebra is going, right? So a 95 Ebra and a 92 Benzema for an 85 rated squad. And the fact that I'm probably not going to get a card higher than 92, let alone 95, is a bit sad. I won't lie to you. Because out of this is probably going to come Santi Cadola or Gerard Moreno. So it is it is going to be a bit of a waste, but you have to gamble. You know, we, we gambled with the with the Premier League. We got Mo Salah. We were rewarded, right? Who's to say that we're not going to be rewarded this time? Plus, if I didn't give up Ibra, I would have to use an awful lot of like 84, 85s to, to make up for it. And I'm just not willing to do that. I'd rather keep them for, you know, if they bring out a player like Bernardo Silva or Jordan Lukaku, whatever it may be that I actually want to complete, I'd rather have those cards ready for that. Uh, anyway, La Liga, team of the season so far. I want a defender. I want a centre-back. 
Don't care which one. Rafael Varane would be the absolute dream. Diego Carlos would be up there as well. I know he's not as expensive as Varane, but he links so well into Danilo. But we can switch Militao around anyway. But either way, I want a centre-back, please, EA Sports. Can I have one? Please, 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 can I have one? It's a board. It's a walkout. Okay, centre mid. Oh, it's going to be Gerard Moreno. Twice on two accounts. I am truly blessed. It's a 93, so a little bit better than Benzema. A little bit worse than Ibra. Not worth it at all, even remotely. However... You have to speculate to accumulate, and unfortunately, on this occasion, we did not accumulate very well. But we still got Mo Salah for the Liverpool team. You can't have everything. Had I packed Varane, Diego Carlos, or Ramos in in that pack, it would have been too good. It would have been the the, the challenge would have been stripped away from it. It would have been too good. We're gonna have to wait and see what uh, the next few days and weeks bring us with regards to SBCs, opportunities, packs, and so on. But so far, uh, we do need to replace Fabinho. Firmino and the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper is already sorted, right? We've got Oblak even. Uh, I need to move Militao over. Put Oblak in there. Like, oh, wrong one. For, like, for now, for example, like, we could go back to this. Uh, and then I need to replace Firmino with someone. And we are then sorted. I, I know, we, we, need, we need to replace Saul. We need the 93 Mendy. We need to replace Firmino. Firmino. And then we're good. I'm happy. And then the Liverpool team is pretty much done. A few little tweaks here or there. But generally, very, very pleased with the way that, uh, that that team looks. And my other team as well. If you have enjoyed today's episode of The Road to Glory, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.